So, yeah, with my last episode of me playing Spring Valley, I actually <laughs> encountered some, yeah, like uh, I made a couple of beginner mistakes, but I will tell you about them um, right now because I want to be completely transparent here. So the thing is, um, since I planned to have this highway, it will be a highway at a later stage as soon as a highway is um, like, as soon as I can put it down um, and as soon as it's available, I'm, I was planning to run this highway through the city. And the thing is, well, I did, I did have way a good job here with um, like preparing this overpass. So here are a few things that I don't really like because I stick to the grid instead of like changing the orientation of this road maybe um, to something like this here and planning it out according to the terrain and everything else so this will have to be rebuilt after a while and there is something else i will have to rebuild as well which is that part of the city here because mm, i might have to delete and probably i also will have to delete this part and this part here completely um, to make sure that i can have proper on and off ramps onto my highway later on in the game but currently my city is not sufficient enough um, so I do not yet have enough income here on my little town so that's gonna be one problem to be honest because um, yeah right now I can't really lose any of my citizens here or any of the businesses that are already established um, so to make sure that I have a bit more regular steady income here I want to take care of industries because first of all I want to make sure to get rid of this here except for of course the coal power plants and some some other important stuff that I will always need, like uh, water treatment and such. Um, but besides that, I'm pretty sure I can eventually get rid of things um, quite soon. So let's start first by having a look, and this is kind of important um, to check your resource map you can actually find it over here uh, the natural resources so I want to make sure that I'm placing my industries first of all I need the um, oh what's it called farming industry here and I also want to make sure and I'm checking my map again just to make sure that I'm oh does that not work yeah okay so the forest will be here so this part here will for it will be a forestry industry um I'm making sure to save that part of the city for forestry. <clears throat> and yeah, so that's that will be good. And I think with both of those district I should uh, districts I should be able to get rid of the industry above here because um, the demand is still significant i would say um yeah so i have to take care of that now 
and it's gonna be two different industries there will be a lot of traffic happening so what i'm trying to do here is i want to lay out let's say if i'm sticking to the grid first i'm going here 12 units up so i will continue laying out the road network right now so i'll be back for you in a sec So that should be good as a first start here. I also want to make sure that everything is supplied with water. Can't start with the farming industry yet. No, not yet. And Forestry industry, neither. So I may have I'm just checking something. I need. Yeah. Ah, come on. Classic, classic mistake here. Um, sorry for this. I'm removing that here. Um, I'm also removing both of those districts. Just to make sure that I'm not making the same mistake, but actually the um, road network now really helps me with making sure that I'm hitting things here at the right spot and I was already wondering why it doesn't that map show up so now it shows up and I can make sure that I give my industries enough room for growth of course the forest industry most likely will grow a lot over time I don't like the name for those industry sounds, but that's something I'm going to change in a little bit. Um, yeah, so let's start with the farming first. Um, love to have farms, but I can't. I'm not yet able to afford this, so I'm letting the game run at a higher speed now. Um, let's say 85%, which makes sense. To get some more funds and i also want to make sure that i'm in the meantime using my time properly 12 12 24 i'm using my time sufficient enough um just to make sure that i'm able to get a few more citizens into my town so I want to have one commercial district here another zone for residentials here taking care of the water first just to make sure that everything's covered before people are actually moving in our businesses are moving in. No. I can start with some zoning and lay that out. And as soon as I did that, a lot of people are already moving in and I'm sorry for forgetting about changing the day night cycle so I'm keeping it at a nice level here 
um, the weather is turned off. No fog. That's fine. Good. So while people are coming into town <coughs> and moving in, I'm gaining a lot more funds here for my farming and forest industry. So I'm still waiting a little bit, but I'm checking in the meantime. We're doing good with power. Oh, garbage processing is an, is an issue. So I need to take care of that. Landfill costs me 4,000. That costs me 16,000. So probably just going for the landfill side. I really do not like landfills. <coughs> but for now, <coughs> excuse me, for now it's the like cheaper option to go for. Um, and it should be well enough for me to get along with it. So I'm waiting for the last bits of 12,000 euros farming or 15,000 euros, sorry, <laughs> the 15,000. Uh, Sim City box, City Skylines box, whatever, simoleons, whatever you would like to call them. So I'm soon hitting my goal of 15,000 here. And I'm putting my main building kind of in the outskirts. Um, or maybe in the center. Yeah, it's more realistic to have it in the center. So I'm getting my silos, my first crop fields, the fruit fields, and the animal pastures, and also some silos, of course. But for now, I'm just going for, for the crops. any profit yet here in this but it just has to grow over time so I'm very confident that I'm soon hitting the mark to make some profit out of my industry here so I'm going for corn first I love those corn fruits to be honest because they always look beautiful Especially in a landscape like this, I love to go for the corn, but also wheat will be something I'm plodding down in the lid uh, in a bit. Um, yeah, I will reuse that to set up a few more um, silos and whatnot. So there are other things to come. So I'm going for full corn packages right now at the start. I'm curious when it yeah, I'm already making some profit. So that's nice. That's good. Very interesting because it's it's so fast that you can make some profit with um, industries. As soon as you set them down, it's easily, easily achievable. 
So and again, another field. And that's it for now. So I have a full patch of corn. And I think I should already lay down the roads for some more fields here. It's always nice to have that. And I'm going for the forest industry later. Just want to make sure that this is making some profit. Then I'm plotting out the next few bits and pieces here. Now I'm not going for cotton, but wheat. Maybe that was a little mistake here. That was too ambitious. You can also see there's currently no demand for industry or other offices. So that's always good to see the impact of such a farming thing. I'm thinking about getting rid of some of those here first. Get back to normal. It takes a while before the pollution goes away. Losing a bit of money here compared to before. That's fine. Again, another uh, wheat field here. I'm wondering. So it will take probably a lot more workers um, to be sufficient. Planning have some fences later. But a lot more housing is required now. And what I just recently learned is that sometimes it may make sense to have housing very close to your industry. So I will set down a couple of homes for the uneducated workers. to have some workers living close by their actual workplace so I'm continuing with that idea city is doing yeah so that's kind of looking safe here so what I'm putting down now is my first storage
I need more residentials. And I'm putting that down here. And I think sometimes this game does make, well, I wouldn't say weird things because it's not really weird things. Um, but when the game sees that there is no room for growth, for whatever reason, then may happen that it kind of stalls. Um, a certain level and I also want to have this connection from left to right here and I'm letting it run for a little bit here just to see where this is going So I'm back to making money now, which is a good thing. And I want to slow down the game by a bit at least. But I'm currently thinking about like Dale Road and this road over here where I don't know Ashton Way will be main collectors here as soon as the game progresses. Um, I think this can be quite significant for me to offer the traffic as many options as possible. To get through town. So I'm placing this police station one square away uh, from the main road here to make sure that I do not have to move it because if that road eventually grows bigger. I think it makes sense to have that room available. Yeah, and I already expected that to happen. So what I'm going to do now, nah, I'm not going to do that. Or maybe, maybe I should. I'm gonna remove the parking. As you can see, pollution is being reduced, no industrial demand at the moment. So I can begin with removing even that part of my industry here. And when the city grows, I can use, repurpose this part. or living and business offices whatever spaces so I'm curious to see how the traffic is piling up but I think it's still fine and I reached another level here of funds to support my plan here to grow what I started another greenhouse but cotton I want to keep those patches as consistent as possible because it looks nicer it looks more beautiful
So garbage processing is still an issue. Wondering why that is. Because I have enough room available on my landfill. Education, elementary school, I have nothing else yet. Or maybe I should put down at least a high school as soon as I can. I'm letting the game run now for a bit. And I'll be back for you in a second. back again now because it's time to put down a high school and I don't want this to sit in well why not why should it not sit in park or somewhere close by that's always good to have and I think the next thing I'm taking care of is healthcare, so I'm waiting for that to happen too. And again, here I'm putting the entrance away from my main collector and maybe one step away because I can still adjust that later on. So the average health is at 65, 66%, which is mm, fairly okay-ish. But obviously I want to have people feeling a bit better. Houses are upgrading, which is nice, nice to see. I'm just waiting for the 10,000 mark to hit. So now I can put it down. Perfect. So the impact should be fairly significant. Still making a lot of money. I'm not losing too many citizens right now. So as soon as I'm hitting the goal of 12,000 now, I will put down a new fire department here and it should be done in a second. So I'm trying to significantly improve here the coverage. Of course, over here is still an issue. And again, yeah, we have this industrial happening but oh, what is that here firehouse this looks completely different <laughs> interesting it's a firehouse it, no it doesn't look it <laughs> doesn't look that much different um, yeah uh, that industry will need some fire coverage as well um, 
yeah, and the thing to go for um, in my next episode will be but the demand is kind of rising at the moment because I removed some of the industry but I can now lay out a few more crops here leaving some squares empty in between as you can see because I want to make sure that I have enough room to grow or to put in either parks or um, schools and such into my district and I want to make sure that I'm not in a situation where I have to delete anything. And that keeps growing and may help me reach the milestone of a busy town hopefully soon so commercial demand is still growing still high This is the perfect spot to put down some, let's say, no, not bamboos, elders. So perfect. Um, I would say. I call it a day um, let's call it a day now so what I did in this episode and I'm already starting to rebuild some of my things or at least preparing for it um, so what I did is I changed the industry significantly here so I removed a lot of industrial buildings and I kind of replaced them by adding this agricultural area over there to make sure that I'm covering up for the lack of industry here. I laid out a few more zones for residentials but also commercials to make sure that I'm meeting the demand so that helped me to gain maybe a thousand more citizens for my town and in either the next or the episode after it after the next one I will be able to remove that commercial zone and also that residential zone. I just have to wait and see, because currently I'm making funds, I'm profitable, and I wanna keep that going, because I will need a lot more budget to 
make sure that I'm putting down a proper highway connection because now I reached a level where I can actually put down or start putting down highways and national roads which is amazing so I'm going for that later as you can imagine in the next episode so I wanted to thank you here and there for again attending one of my city skylines gameplays um, we're here in spring valley and for the next episode um, I have a lot to do I will plan this out a little bit and I will also show you a new road planning tool that I just learned about that I will use um, to make sure that I'm setting things up properly uh, and well enough so thanks a lot for joining me today again and I would really appreciate if you could leave me a like or hit the bell button to get informed as soon as i'm publishing a new video i'm kind of starting over again uh here playing city skylines one because i'm looking forward obviously to get my hands on city skylines 2 later this year but this will be kind of my last city that i will play probably in this game always oh, see how well City Skylines 2 will be in the end and whether it meets all the expectations and things that we all are excited about. So thanks again. Thanks for joining. Have a good one and hear you soon. Bye bye.